Welcome to Tabletop Island. I'm Bernardo, your host, and today we're going to be talking about the board game Wooly Whammoth. This is a really cool one. This is one of the newer ones that came out by Smirk and Dagger. Uh, I actually talked about this um, with me anticipating it at Gen Con, and that's exactly where I got it. You'll also see it on social media on my little stack of games that I bought. Close to 20. I know I have a problem. Anyways, this board game is really fun, really quick, and super unique. So what I didn't talk about in the song commercial, which I hope you guys enjoyed, I, you use cards to basically move your um, tribe. And with that movement, you're also moving everybody else. So accumulatively, um, whatever number is on all of those cards, whether it's minus or plusing, that's how many you move. But the card you play may have an added effect that either stops you from moving, allows you to move one more, one less, or however it is. And you also get your own little character abilities, which I also don't really talk about in the song. Or when certain cards say the word charge on it, then you flip over one of the charge cards and that allows the Wooly Mammoth to move, who can stomp you, and that is another way you can get one of your tribe members eliminated. Anyways, the board game itself, again, it's very fast paced. It, it does say 40 minutes on the board. Uh, in fact, it probably takes that long if you're learning it like we were when I first played it. But now that you or now that I know the rules or now that you would know the rules, if you are more familiar with it, it shouldn't take that long. It may take 20, 30 minutes max. Uh, unless you're conversating throughout, but it's a pretty fast-paced game. I like it as one of my new filler games. It is super fun. The components are very well made. Your objective is to either be the last tribe standing or to collect six meats. And how you collect those meats is to move your character across the path, hoping to not go into a tar pit and uh, completely lose your character, or to not fall off trying to push the woolly mammoth off the cliff. When you push it off the cliff, it will provide a meat for you. And in order to get your cards back, because you are limited with your um, cards in hand, you have to give up a meat token to get them all back. Now, if you don't have any meat tokens to give up and you run out of cards, then you are also out that way. And it is super cool. I think the elimination is unique. I did notice a lot of people online stating that it's almost impossible to get six meets. In fact, that's actually how I won the first time we played. It wasn't that difficult and it definitely doesn't seem like something out of the ordinary. I think the game is well balanced. And again, it's fast, easy to teach, fun for the whole family. These are the categories I look for with board games. So you're gonna notice me say that a lot with a lot of the games I review because I won't be reviewing games or very many games, if any, that I don't like. But that is honestly all I have for you guys today. I kept it really short for you guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I do appreciate any feedback. I'm trying to make these videos more and more outrageous. And with your guys' help, I have been doing so. If you are interested in notifications though, there is a bell up there somewhere. Monday, regular board game reviews. Wednesday, weekly update slash talks. And then on Friday is my vintage board game reviews. That is all I have for you guys today. I will see you guys next time.